And I'm Arm the Dynamic Do Over. And I'm Moose Monkey Gaming on a movie channel for some reason. Yeah, weird. <laughs> and welcome to the second review of The Walking Cold Episode 2 Guts. Yeah, we didn't look that up. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's begin, Jordan, you go first. Okay, so it begins very awkwardly without music, and then we have the Shane, or wait, no, Lori's in the forest. For no reason, I can't, uh, for a reason I can't remember, because it was really quiet. Yeah. And then there was no music, and it was really awkward. And then Shane, like, half attacks her. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> yeah, and then, like, covers the mouse, and then it's just, and it's like, oh, okay, well, we're just gonna laugh about that. <laughs> That's cool. Romantic and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That and is. then things happen, and then it's the title sequence. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, that just seems, like, weird. Like, what did, was the right to think, oh, this seems so romantic. <laughs> What a great way to show that they love each other. So, yeah. we cut back to where Rick was in the thing, and the voice on the radio turns out to be Glenn, who gives him the most helpful advice ever, just to run. <laughs> you can probably jump over the group of zombies. It's not that big of a jump. It's not what he said, that's what I think. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, we see uh, our hero running into Glenn. They go on to a fire escape, and they get to a roof. After a zombie tries to climb after them... <laughs> I swear that it's the same zombie that climbs over the fence later, and he is a genius when it comes to climbing things. <laughs> so, so they get to this store that the rest of the group are at. We meet T Dog, Andrea, the most hateful person you ever want to meet in the yeah. zombie apocalypse, who uh, cries like all the time. Yeah, Jackie, Mel, and um, um, that that other guy. Um, the guy I don't know. You you probably know. He's the only guy we haven't named. <laughs> and he's and he's probably I think he yeah he dies, spoilers I guess. When uh, they are all arguing over Rick is a terrible guy for bringing the zombies that was already surrounding them <laughs> to them by just randomly firing at zombies and running towards that, the building. That's probably like a few blocks away from where he was. <laughs> yeah, so he just led them all to the building even though they were safe. So we meet Mur after he's shooting off. Zombies on the roof, and which you see my zombie apocalypse things you should never go to. Roof is one of them. Self promotion. Yeah, plugging your videos. Great job. <laughs> so we see Merle is this racist, annoying drug dealer guy. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe well, he not. He does drugs, but I don't know if he's a drug dealer. But second to last person you want to meet in the zombie apocalypse. Next is Andrea. Yeah. Probably. So, Especially to have a new group of survivors. Yeah, so he gets into a fight with T-Dog. He some know, somehow knows karate, because I'm pretty sure he did some karate on yeah, T-Dog. He, like he did like a karate kid jump kick on one guy. Yeah. Not the backflip one from the new one. The that one where that would have been so cool. <laughs> <laughs> just to see Ma just do... Like uh, a Matrix backflip <laughs> kick. And he's like in slow motion. <laughs> and then two guys come out of it at the same time. He jumps, does the splits. And okay, so... We then uh, see Rick punch him with his gun and uh, handcuffs him to a roof. Yeah. And they come, and the rest of the people come up with a plan to go through the sewers with Glenn and that guy, but that doesn't work. Huh. So they decide to do the only other thing they can do: cover themselves in guts <laughs> and go out and face the zombie horde. And then it rains. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But back at, back at camp, yeah. we see Shane doing something with Kara. I'm not sure, maybe teaching her to tie knots, maybe. <laughs> and he tells Amy, Andrea's sister, that she's probably dead, that Andrea's never coming back, and that she should get over it. Leader. He's a great leader. Your family is dead. And, <laughs> uh, and Shane's looking like this all along. Huh. Yeah, he always does that. He's kind of like angry, but accepting of how angry he is. Yeah. <laughs> so, we go back to Rick. And so, he and Glenn gets over a fence, and many zombie tries to climb over it. <laughs> they get shot down, except for that one zombie that we talked about earlier. Yeah. So, they stay a track. Glenn goes and gets a muscle coat. And I'm pretty sure I've seen him Breaking Bad. <laughs> the exact same one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Huh. Maybe someone owns that car and he filmed both shows. Or maybe. 
Breaking Same Bad. universe. Same universe. Conspiracy. Illuminati <laughs> confirmed. So Glenn steers that car. He rides it with the alarm blasting up and Rick returns for the others. Even though his main goal was to find his family. Yeah. And he's helped literally everybody else except for his family. So while everyone's running down through the building, T Dog has a change of heart and goes back for Murph but drops the key. So he runs away but locks the door and Murph's stuck <laughs> on the roof. And then America happens. A zombie picks up a rock and smashes the window. I don't even know where he got that rock from. Yeah, like what what was that he was thinking? That was a very big rock too. It was like the size of his head. So what? <laughs> oh, nice rock. I'm gonna use it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the zombies get into the store, and Rick rescues everyone else but leaves Mo behind, and Glenn and the others drive off into the sunset. Never to be seen until episode 3. Yeah. With epic rock and roll, country music, whatever in the background. So, so what did you think of that episode? I thought it was okay. It wasn't the best episode. It was probably like a 7. It was good, but it wasn't like the best one that I've seen. Yeah, I think it was just to introduce these other characters that we get to know yeah. these characters that would die at one point. It did a good job of making you hate or love people very quickly, so yeah, that's yeah. probably, yeah. Like, Glenn was a nice character. Rick was a nice character. Merle was in the episode. And so was Andrea. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I would give this episode a 6 out of 10. I... I thought it was okay, I just think this is still like the first season and we're still getting to know these characters and it hasn't found its right gears, let's say, yeah. to move the show forward. Like what? Like, it hasn't gotten into a flow. Yeah, yeah flow, that's the word. So I'm the Dynamic Dover. And I'm Moose Monkey Gaming. Until next time. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for showing up. Oh yeah, no, it was great. But you know you owe me a fee for like paying me to come here. What? Yeah, it's like 20 bucks, like 5 bucks per however many minutes this was, so maybe not 20 bucks, but like in the range. Um, okay. Hey, hey, what's up with that? Like, do you see that? <laughs> <laughs>